Morning. Ugh. Hope people get it nice and square on. Perfect. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to episode 3 of our Stormworks career mode let's play and I've just found something behind that tree over there so let's go and have a look what it is there it is a crate another one we found so many recently I'm quite surprised about that actually but what do we have inside let's find out six clocks 12 research points and 2900 I mean it's okay isn't it I mean loads of points there so that's really what I take out of that the clocks don't matter so much but what we're going to do next is head back to the workbench after doing some research so we have 54 points now that's amazing actually already and I think there are three options which are going to be really useful to us okay the first one will be this large fuel tank large pump okay 14 points and it takes an hour to do the other option would be the medium battery here 10 points, 40 minutes, that's really quick. And the third option I was looking at was rescue equipment. So we get the medium and the small winch um, and some other things as well. 10 points an hour. And I think first of all, I want to do this one to get that medium battery. That is going to be really handy. Um, and it's only 40 minutes. So we can just, after that, get straight onto the next one. And it should be fairly quick. So I'm going to head back to the workbench now. And hopefully on the way, we'll actually pick up a new mission to do. So we can upgrade the boat a bit. Um, do some more research and then do the next mission. All right, guys, I'll see you over there. Guys, check this out. Look how fast the fuel is going back into the tank. That's crazy fast compared to before. I've got, I've done nothing different here. But what I did just do is save the game and load it, and then suddenly it was going from one liter every maybe like three seconds to, well, you can see <laughs> that's really fast. So. I don't know why, that must be a bug. But anyway, all the fuel is back in. Let's get into the workbench. Okay guys, so as you just saw, there's no need for a fuel pump now. Um, however, we still have a good use for it actually. What I've installed is a flooding alarm system. Um, so if we look inside the hull, we have four pumps here. One on each corner. Uh, oh, there's the other two there, okay. And they are connected to this button and this dial in red here. Okay, so basically when we crash the boat, or if we, not when hopefully, but if we crash the boat ever, um, and if water starts running into the hull, we can read how much is in there on that dial. And also it will start flashing red. And then this button here just turns the pumps on so we can pump the water back out again. Okay, um, let's go and give it a test. Okay guys, so we're about to crash into our own dock right now and when we do so water will hopefully start flooding into the hull which holds at the moment about 80,000 litres of air when that turns into 0.1% of water this dial will start flashing red and it will start reading a value as well and then here we'll press this button and we can eject the water back out again so let's let's go and test it make sure that all works um, we'll just kind of straighten up with the dock here I'm going to drive right inside head on into the back wall. Hopefully we get it nice and square on. Perfect. There we go, we've got some damage up there, we'll just shut the engine off. And if I turn off my flashlight you can see the dial is now flashing and water is rushing in pretty quickly. That's 400 litres, 500 litres, okay. And all we need to do to empty it we press this button here so we get to a thousand and then we press that and you can see roughly how quickly it'll eject it really fast actually with the four pumps that we have and now it's not flashing anymore as soon as we stop the button again the pumps the water will go in again okay but that should be plenty for us to save the boat get it back to safety and actually looking at the battery gauge here I mean when we're pumping out water it's hardly using any power if any at all so there's no worries about the battery at the moment. And we'll upgrade those shortly anyway when we've unlocked the medium battery. Alright guys. So we just picked up a new mission guys. And that mission is Medivac the Rig Worker. Okay, It's really close by actually. And we have half an hour to do it. 
So hopefully we'll do it before uh, before the sun goes down. But as you can see, it's about one and a half kilometers this way, and then an extra kilometer that way. So it really isn't very far, maybe two and a half kilometers in total. And we're filling up with fuel, so that is that's just finished actually. So we'll unplug that, and I'll see you out there when we are on our way. Right, we're just making our approach now then. And we have one person to collect up here. There might be a crate or two as well, if we're really lucky. But this is actually really easy. One thing I always forget though, is I <laughs> normally jump off from the top level. And then, yeah, you can still get hurt even if you're jumping into the water. So do watch out for that, guys. But just over here, there should be a ladder. There it is. And we're actually going to stop here because... If the waves do pick up, we might get bashed against the side of these um, big pillars here, which would not be a good idea. So let's head on up then and see what we can find. Oh, you can normally find a crate up there, at least one. There is also the ability to buy oil, is it, or sell? Let's see. Buy crude oil, okay. What else have we got around here then? Well, first of all, let's find the rig worker. They are upstairs. And we do have plenty of time. We've got 23 minutes to do that. Let's have a quick look around first. But no crates so far. Aha, we have one. What's in here then? Wow, 40 stair steps. That's actually quite impressive. 40 of them. Um, yeah, 6 points and uh, 6,200 as well. That's really good, guys, actually. 40 steps. I didn't expect that at all. I might have expected, you know, 4 or 8 of them, but not 40. Okay, what else can we find? Let's go inside here. There's another one. Oh, we're lucky today, guys. Really lucky. Crate number three of today, what do we get? Six points, one velocity pivot, and five and a half thousand. Very good. Oh, we are pleased with this. Okay, nothing in this one, but that's fine. Let's close all the doors. I don't know why, I just, I just like doing that. Go upstairs, pick up the rig worker. There he is. Another crate. Oh, my goodness. Actually, so when you're carrying someone, you can't actually use E on the crates here, there we go. A robotic pivot this time, another six points, four and a half thousand almost. So, 62 research points, that'll keep us going for a while. That is really good, okay? So, we're gonna head back down to the boat now, and get on our way to complete the mission, guys, and I'll see you over there. Right, we're back. We've made our trip safely. We have our guy. So this is the hospital island. There's the jetty that we're going to use. It's almost night time now, but luckily we can still see. Just as we're finishing the mission here. So soon we'll have to do some more research actually. Um, yeah, that's got just under half an hour to complete. And then we'll work on the next thing. But first of all, let's get this done. I'll try and dock up right next to that jetty. If we can. Just drift in slowly. That is going to be a good job, I think. Nicely done. Cut the engine there. 
I might make an engine cutoff switch actually eventually, but for now, we're all good. Oh no, I've got that crouching issue again, look. Oh dear. Triple jump doesn't work anymore. Right, that's better. Get onto the jetty, run upstairs and see what we get. Right, what's our reward then? There's the other person we rescued a while back. Let's put him in this bed. Six points, four 5x5 five five wheels, that's good. And five and a half thousand. Guys, we're doing well so far. We're doing really well here. Let's leave them in there. Okay, so the plan is now to, well, we haven't got any more missions to do right now. So we'll go to sleep through the night. We'll go back to the starter base over there. Not very far away. And we'll get a new mission. We'll try and do some more research if we get there before the next mission arrives. Maybe do some upgrades. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we have a problem guys. Look how fast the fuel is going out of the boat and back into the tank. It's really slow again. I've got no idea what's going on here. Um, we've used up around a quarter of the fuel tank. And yeah, it's down to what it was before. It's not terrible. I mean, we can at least put the fuel back in. But that is a pain. So instead of sitting here, I'm going to go upstairs into bed, have a rest. And hopefully we'll have a new mission about morning time. Okay, guys? Okay, it's about 1 in the morning, and our research has just completed, so we're now going to go on to the next one, which I think, well, not that one, where is it? Fluid management or the winches. I reckon we should get the winches next. So that is here in rescue equipment. Let's get that done. Takes an hour. So I'll carry on sleeping now until we get the next mission. Morning! <sighs> it's morning, guys. It's bright and early. And we have a new mission to do. It's a very basic one, just similar to what we did before. Transport the rig inspectors. So, it's two of them. There's an hour and a half to do it. We're going to do that in the next episode. But also in the next episode, we're going to start thinking about how we can transport jet fuel from the buy point to the sell point. Um, so, we might start building a, a, a cargo tanker, some, some kind of small vehicle, which can fit inside our starter base boat shed. So it can't be massive, and obviously we haven't unlocked that many parts yet. Um, but the research is on the way right now. We are definitely going to need some... Well, let's have a look here. We, we'll definitely need the winches anyway. That's what we're doing right now. And then also, if we go to the, the large pumps, I think we'll definitely need them as well. Um, we won't need these so much just yet, but definitely the large pumps are going to be very helpful there. Okay. <laughs> Um, along with a few other things. So that's what we're going to do next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.